And here we are. How are you? And this must be the mascot. Yes. You must be Paul. I am Paul Rutherford. Paul. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now you have another half as well. Your son I Adam sure is he. Do. Adam, how you doing, Jeff? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So Paul, you started this back 30 years ago, sure and you did. brought Adam on how long ago? 15 years ago. Oh man, I'm sure there's a story here. Lots I can't wait stories. to find out more about you guys, how you got started. Perfect. We'll do that outside whenever you guys are ready. I know you're a little busy right now. Absolutely. All right, I'll see you guys outside. And wait about this little guy right there. That is Moeller. Moeller. Come here. There you Come go. Here. <laughs> All right, there I'll hang out go. with you later too. So, Paul, you and your son, you guys have been at this for a while. With your son, 15 years. You've been at it for 30 years with this office, but you started a long time before that. Started in the Air Force. Tell sure, me about that. Sure. 1976, I joined the Air Force. And it just seemed like the thing to do. I was working for a uh, safety equipment company, delivering barricades and flashing lights and things like that. And, and I needed to get on my own and, you know, four roommates and not doing a whole lot, so I joined the Air Force and went to uh, laboratory school. Laboratory, so how do, how do you get into laboratory school? How do you make that decision to jump into lab school besides going into so many other options they have? Why lab school? Well, it just seemed like the thing to do at the time, dental, long, long training. I wish I had looked at more options in the Air Force. I wish I had, but I might not have come out so well had I done that. Yeah. And uh, I was very good with my hands, and I passed the chalk, chalk carving test, and uh, and it worked out fine. It worked out obviously great. Not 1990, bad. you opened up this uh, this lab, and then 15 years ago, basically, you brought on uh, you brought yeah, on your son Adam. Yeah. How did how, how did how did that sit with you? Did you think that you and your dad would be working together? Did you have other plans? Uh, growing up, I wanted to grow up playing baseball my whole my whole life, and uh -huh. uh, as soon as that ended. Um, I had known lab life growing up. He'd always bring cases home, painting dyes at home and uh, doing some waxing, bringing the little Bunsen burner with the flame and the little uh, metal, uh, we call them instruments, they're not tools around here. Uh, the little, uh, anyways, he brought it home, we'd wax copings or he'd wax copings. I'd sit there and watch him and I'd play with the little Play-Doh because you stick the dyes in the little Play-Doh. Yeah. That's how I, I've always been into it and so it was always kind of my fallback plan. and. She was just there. I see how happy he was doing it. So I just got into it and just stuck with it. And then we got into all the digital stuff and it kind of piqued my interest again. And now, now here, now we're doing commercials. We're doing YouTube videos. <laughs> I got my own YouTube channel and yeah. it's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I want to talk about your YouTube channel in a moment, but I want to go back to the digital side of things because, I mean, this industry, how crazy is it? And how fast this industry has transformed, it's transitioned into the digital age. Uh, what would take a couple of weeks now takes an hour uh, to do in a lot of cases. Did you embrace the technology or did your son really bring that forward for you? I started it with Cirque and you got some training in it and Adam just took it to a whole new world. He took it to unbelievable world that I can't even imagine. Instead of waxing and casting and finishing and painting and building up, it's like now it's been milled out for me, ready to go in less than a day. <laughs> you know, it's just wonderful stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, I couldn't even imagine it. Um, well, I might have to pull. I'm not, I'm not going to be here. I'll have someone drive it up to you in the morning. Is there any chance of moving here more in the afternoon? So let's talk about uh, the relationship with True Abutment. How did that relationship come together? I had uh, someone at their office call me one day saying that uh, they um, were using a, or they had a specific type, uh, tie base uh, for an implant and I couldn't get them anywhere else and I, we didn't like the um, the design of the other companies, uh, True Bowman offered a, a taller tie base and something that makes the crown stronger. And I was like, well, I'll give you guys a shot. Uh, lo and behold, I think it's three years later and we pretty much truly use you guys and all of your parts. Um, I've been incredibly happy with um, 
the milling of the titanium abutments. Um, the tie bases, like you were saying, are phenomenal. They have this perfect little notch in it that lets us know exactly where the crown goes on top of. Um, consistency has been fantastic. Turnaround time, I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I've been very, very happy with uh, what they, what you guys have provided for us. That's, that's great. I love hearing those stories uh, because those are stories that we continue to hear and that's what we want to have. We want you to hear those success stories. So let's talk about this YouTube channel. So how did that all come about? Is that something that you just, you know what, we need this or you felt like that's what's gonna give you the edge over the, uh, the competitors? And I wasn't even trying to get into edge over a competitor I was really I'm always online on all the dental forums trying to answer questions and it's much easier to show someone a video of how to do something versus trying to type it out over you know 200 characters or whatever it is and so I figured hey I can do a simple five ten minute YouTube video and I can post it and I'm just making tutorials for everyone else I want everyone else to be as as good as they can be in, the, in this CAD uh, world because it's it's not easy to get into and it's not easy to learn but once you learn the tools and everything you can kind of teach yourself a little bit easier and what, what i like about your videos it's not you that's you know in, in front of the camera you know it's it's you're showing a, a screen that's on there. you're mm -hmm. walking people through there yeah. you're not trying to be the star so you're exactly what you said you want people to be as good as they can be and you're helping them that way do you want to possibly be in training or educating as things move forward for you i would i i, I think i can reach a wider audience with the youtube though you know, special hands-on. I've done that a little bit over, you know, the whole COVID thing. That was it's okay, but I feel like videos, uh, tutorials are are a little bit easier path for me, and I and I don't really have the time to do hands-on stuff with other people. So yeah. videos are you know it's quick 10-15 minutes. I don't edit anything, and I just upload it, and that's it. So what's the next step for you, though? What, what where do you see where do you see your lab going now? Now that Adam is on board, he's committed at this point. Where do I see it going? I'm Where would 66. you like to see it? I'm 66. Well, you'd be retired. Where would you like him to oh, take the... Oh, <laughs> man. I would like him to uh, be incredibly successful and pay the laboratory off and uh, be happy at what he's doing and thrilled and making... You know, we change people's lives. We change, we create new smiles. There are people with messed up teeth that come in and look magnificent and come back and hug us because their lives have been changed and they smile and it, that's the best thing in the world is to change people's lives. Yeah, and, and now you get to change it uh, faster than ever. I mean, just like that. It's incredible. It, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so while you guys are flexing, yeah. I'm going to flex and give you guys an, a gift from True Abutment to you guys oh, for being sure a great partner of True Abutment over the years. This is from us to you. Open it up. Awesome. I know you guys oh. like music. No, Get rid of the no. eight track. Is it? Right. It's Bose. A Bose speaker Good right there. God. You can still you can still blare the A track if you want, but that might sound better. Oh, it's very nice of you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Mo thanks you. Mo thanks all of you. Uh, all right, we got some cookies. What do you got there? It's Joe's steak sandwich. Oh, thank you. Uh, you won't find them. Oh, they're probably as good as my wife's chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Because she makes chocolate chip walnuts. They run to the house to Molar, molar. What a great dog you have. <laughs> nice it's a good one. It was a pleasure. Yeah, good luck on your YouTube channel and continuing to grow the business here. I appreciate you guys coming by. All right, see you next time. Hey, we'll see you next time as well as we continue our journey all over the country talking to people just like that. See you next time on True Abutments Interview. See you guys.